The path to higher purpose is the collection of life experiences that led us to where we are today. I've been traveling on this road for a long time, all in hopes of finding my true purpose. I've experienced a lot of highs and a lot of lows, and I'm willing to share them, hopefully adding value to your journey. So together, let's walk this path and find our higher purpose. Episode 2, Path to Higher Purpose, and we're going to call this one The Rise of the Phoenix. So in life, sometimes bad stuff happens and we end up getting burned by the flames. You have two options. You could either one, just sit there and let the flames take you down, or you have another option. You can shake it off and rise from the ashes again, just like a phoenix. So I want to take you back to how I started um, HC. You know, a lot of you guys have probably already heard this and some of you guys haven't. When I first started HC, it started because you know, I was at the ultrasound with my wife and we were going to have a baby. So while I was there, I ended up getting a phone call from my boss and my boss said, you know, unfortunately, I have to let you go. You know, the economy is really bad. Uh, we tried to stick with it as long as we could, but we couldn't do it. So we're sorry. You know, at that moment in time, I just felt this pit in my stomach. You know, my my stomach just sank. I was completely broken. But as I looked over at my wife, you know, and I saw the ultrasound screen, my wife was like, how is everything okay? You know, and I said to her, oh yeah, totally. Everything's fine. I had to lie. It was kind of, um, it was a great moment. It was bittersweet because there's this part of me that just got basically destroyed. You know, I lost my job and the sweet part was I'm about to start this new life and new adventure with a new baby. I got home at night and i'm sure that i cried and i told my wife you know I'm, I'm sorry but i lost my job and i know we're gonna have a baby and I'm, I'm so scared and she said you know don't worry about it everything's gonna be okay and the one thing i want to tell you about my wife is that um there's something about her where she's made different she's been through a lot and she's been through a lot of flames and if it was anyone else's life that would have been enough to probably take them down and it's happened on several occasions, but for her, somehow, some way, she's able to like accept what happened and then brush it off and rise from the ashes. And I would tell her, you know, she reminds me of the mythological creature, the Phoenix. They always say the Phoenix can rise from the ashes. You know, she told me that everything would be okay. And somehow she was correct. But when bad stuff happens to me, I usually go the other way. I'm, I'm not built like a Phoenix. You know, something bad happens and all of a sudden my life is just completely over. I, I'm devastated and it takes me a while to tell you the truth. It took me a long while to accept like when I lost my job, I was in a slump. I was in the deepest, darkest pit that you could imagine to if you could sum up what I thought about my life at that particular point, I felt like the biggest loser on earth and I felt completely worthless. In the world of graphic design, I was trying to find jobs. And at that point, I was looking for jobs where I was overqualified and I was looking for jobs where I was underqualified. You know, there was a little chance in me that thought maybe this is my chance to achieve greater things and maybe I'll get lucky and get a break. I never got that. And because I applied for a few jobs where that were out of my reach, I thought I don't deserve greatness. I should go completely the other way. You know, I thought about, you know, working at a local print shop, you know, the place where you get Xerox copies and things like that. You know, I was all over the spectrum as far as finding my self-worth. And at that point, I was, again, probably at my lowest. And there was something in me that had to find something different because I just couldn't get hired. So I started looking for jobs. And every time I looked for a job, I would daydream about maybe starting a brand, you know. So the job that I got laid off from, I was a I was working for a screen printing company. They would do the graphic design for a lot of companies in the mall and um, a lot of the stores, department stores and stuff. So you might even have a t-shirt laying around your house that I designed. I would make all these clothes for all these people. So it just dawned on me, you know, what if I were to start a brand? Do you think that, you know, I can um, I can do that? And again, you know, when I talked to my wife, the Phoenix, she said, of course. Or she said, there's nothing in life that you can't accomplish unless you try. If most people were to tell me that, I would say, you know what? I really think you're full of it. Um, 
and just nod my head and agree. But if there's anyone that's lived through it and honestly lives by it, that that is my wife. So I I took that and I helped fuel the fire to maybe let myself dream a little. I started to get up from the ashes, you know, dust it off a little bit, the burn marks and scars and let myself heal. While doing so, I created a brand called Human Catalyst and you know, at the beginning when you start a brand, there's nobody that believes in you. It means nothing to anyone. The only one that it means something to is yourself. And I decided to make a brand and rise from the ashes and give myself a chance. 10 years later, I'm still able to do it. Not all by myself. A lot of it has to do with the power for my family to continue and also a huge part of it is my wife allowing me to attempt to live my dreams, allowing me to learn how to fly and have a chance to fly. The whole point of this episode is mainly to learn from the phoenix. You know, we don't all have those characteristics to just get up from the fire immediately and fly, but you also have the ability to get up and learn how to fly and it's going to take time. Don't let yourself get burned by the flames. You can somehow find a way to get help. The only thing that's going to stop you from attempting to fly is just you letting yourself getting burned and accepting that's where you deserve to be. So in a lot of situations, I learn from my wife because I see her. I understand the back end story of the situation. And then I ask her like, oh my gosh, look at this news. It's devastating. You know, like everything, fire everywhere. What do we do? What do we do? Panic. And she's like, we'll get through it. And I hope to one day have the ability to be a phoenix myself. You know, I'm still learning how to fly. I still have troubles believing in myself. I still don't know if I can do it. I would love to one day be confident enough to say, you know, bring it and I'll handle it. There's this one um, quote and I saw it's from Steve Jobs. And, you know, I don't know. I'm just paraphrasing. But basically, you know, he said something to the effect of, it's all about connecting the dots. And the only way the dots make sense is by looking backwards. Just understand that your situation may be this dot right now and you're going down in flames and it may be horrible, but several dots later, you're going to be able to look back and think to yourself, there was a reason. There was a reason why you had to go through that in order to learn and experience it because the several dots forward are going to be amazing. And your path doesn't end there unless you choose it to. So keep on connecting the dots. Try to learn how to fly. And I really think we could all learn to be a phoenix. So I know a lot of you guys have already heard about me losing my job. It's nothing new. But it's just one of the dots that really stands out, especially in how I got here today. I mean, even when it comes down to the podcast, you could think about one dot was me getting burned where I lost my job. The second dot... I had to start HC. The third dot is like, I built this amazing community that supports me and appreciates what I do. And I can't be more thankful for that. And now maybe I'm making a new dot. Maybe I'm able to do this podcast, but if I'd never got burnt, I would never be able to tell you this story today. So I ask you guys, and I beg you just please continue, get up from the flames and let's fly together. This has been the path to higher purpose. I appreciate you guys for listening until next time.